Sex is not as good as society makes it seem. Has anyone ever lost their virginity to a man? You're a man clapping, right? It doesn't count for you. Did it hurt? I topped. You topped? I'm not talking about you right now. Pride Month is over. When you're receiving, losing your virginity. <laughs> Wait, why is every gay a bottom? It was a one time thing topping, and you were like, I don't want this power. I don't want the power. <laughs> what was it like the first time you bottomed? Wait, everyone give it up for him. <laughs> Sorry, what was it like the first time you bottomed? How would you describe it? Uh, it's like a lot of <laughs> he goes, It sucks. A lot of. When you said a lot of pressure, that's what they tell you at the dentist when they do a root canal. <laughs> so, what made you be like, We should do this forever? Because you're a bitch. <laughs> you just cry through it. Are you a bottom too? No. <laughs> Are you a bottom though? I'm she goes, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, he's verse. Someone called me a verse otter once. There's no verses. Wait, we are learning so much tonight. <laughs> They're all bottoms. Thank you. Wait, I love your vest. Wait, so when two bottoms get together, what do they do? Watch music videos. <laughs> you date an athlete? <gasps> which, which kind? <laughs> the entire football team. Oh, it was one guy and he played. Oh, okay. I thought you were like football, basketball, hockey, badminton, pickleball. <laughs> Is that your mom? That's your grandma? Wait, why was he cute, grandma? He was chocolate. Grandma has a type and it's sweet and sturdy. Okay, this is fucked up, but like if my grandma doesn't want to fuck my man, he's not good enough, you know what I mean? Like I know I don't want her to fuck him, but like if your grandma's like, ew, I'd be like, you're done. <laughs> they just high-fived, okay. Where'd you meet this guy? School, high school. Oh yeah, you get him beforehand, before he gets the STDs. It, it was bad? What? We know he was cute, grandma, you told us. He has a kid now. Grandma, it came out of your pussy, you should know. <laughs> what do you do? An assistant fire marshal. <laughs> Grandma just goes, he's got a 50 foot hose. <laughs> Grandma, what's your skincare routine? Cause your skin looks gorgeous. Chocolate. <laughs> Did you guys see Taylor Swift? No, like, I feel like it's her world and we're just living in it. This is what's wild about Taylor Swift right now that I'm impressed by, the range of the type of men that she likes. Joe Alduino, whatever, he looked like a basket weaving Mormon. <laughs> then Matt Healy is a cigarette. And then Travis Kelsey looks like Yes, he looks like he fails Algebra 2 and pushes both of them in a locker. <laughs> and now I'm worried that the only thing left for her is Pete Davidson after this, and I'm upset. <laughs> I'm worried, I'm upset, but all roads lead to Pete. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. How long? Um, it'll be is his dick? <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He'll be 27. He's 27. His brain just fully formed. Yeah. Don't have sex in your 20s. It's so early 20s. The men are wild. They finger you and I'm like, why is it soft for? Was I supposed to come? That's crazy. <laughs> you guys are naughty. That was really dark and upsetting. She's upset. It's not our fault though. Like they don't know what they're doing and we don't know to tell them what to do. So you're just like, <laughs> and then you tell your friends, you're like, it was so hot. We fucked all night. It was so hot. Hi, did your date leave you? What happened? Oh no. Are you like dating? We're dating. How long? Yeah, one year. I love the audience is like, mm, what do we think? <laughs> How old are you? 33. 
<laughs> Your ovaries are shrinking. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm just kidding. It's about 33 for guys like a baby. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Well, when you were gone, I did kind of like ask him what was going on, and we all like made fun of him and laughed at him. <laughs> but he was a really good sport about it. But he basically was like, "I love her so much. I don't know how to propose." <laughs> We were trying to give him strategy. He was like, do I do it at like the Statue of Liberty tomorrow? Like, what do I do? And I was like, her nails are done beautifully right now. Chrome, look at them. So anyway, I'll let you guys talk about that tonight. Whatever you want. So excited to be here. I didn't know I was so big in the Mormon community. I just want to know if you guys don't drink coffee, how do you shit yourself? How does anything flow through you? Are you just clogged all the time? What'd you say? Adderall. Adderall. <laughs> Wait. So you guys are snorting nerdy cocaine, but you can't have a Sprite. That is the second coming if I've ever heard. I am out of breath with the fucking air. It's so thin here. It's on Ozempic. I don't know what's going on. And that's my Salt Lake City joke for the night. Um, this is my thing about people having babies because I haven't had a baby yet. <laughs> so I'm doing research and people are giving me two very opposite ends. They'll be like, it's the greatest thing that ever happened to you but it'll ruin your entire fucking life but it's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever, but I hate every second of the day. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me right now. Are you talking in code? Why do you hate your babies? There, she's a bitch? How old is she, two? She's, what did she do to you? She's a cunt. She called her daughter a cunt. What did you think she was going to do? She didn't bring me the sprinkle cookies. I think she's a cunt. I do have to say, though, babies, they don't... They kind of make it all about them, and I'm like, there's other people in the house. Like to cuddle? Oh, you do? Oh. Do you like to be the small spoon or the big spoon? Small, of course. Every dude loves being the small spoon. Why do you like being the small spoon? Oh, you like to mix it up. You're freaky. You want a little backpack. I like that. You're so privileged as a small spoon. As a girl, do you know what it's like if you possibly fart on his dick? Like, if you fart, it's funny. If I fart, the relationship's over and I'm in therapy with her for 20 years. This is what I love about the South. The guys like to wear their hats, take their sunglasses, put them upside down, and perch it. Like this is, you are an accessory king. What was your, the story behind this look? And why don't you put, why do you put them on upside down? Why don't you, they feel better? They hold better. If you're like running around, I get it. He's like, when I'm catching prey, you know, I gotta go. Oh. There's snakes out in Oklahoma, you never know. Wow, I love that. What do you do? Uh, I was gonna say snake hunter, that would've been so funny. A welder? Hot. Hot, I'm from New York City, I've never met a fucking welder. What do you weld? Kel um. Wait, I'm so out of my element, I love this. You build gas compressors for oil fields. I, I don't know what an oil fit is or a gas compressor, so I have no follow-up question. I love that though, and he's your husband. Did you meet in the oil fields? They sound romantic, like just running in the oil fields. My skin is so shiny from the oil. I'm half Italian, so I'm very oily. Um, where'd you meet him? High school. No, that's that old school love. Holy shit. Wow, how long have you been together? 
too long. Um, how do you keep it spicy? Oil. <laughs> how do you keep it, keep it hot? How do you keep it together? You just do it. I love that. So simple, so straightforward. You're like my dad when I'm like, I'm sad. He's like, don't be.